Hello everyone! Despano2 here and welcome to Joomba! Man! I can't remember when I last played this. I was just a kid. I don't remember how old, but man. Let's get started. Fruit. Is that irrelevant? Is that relevant? Cool. <laughs> hey, you with the pink hair. Yes. Oh. I've never seen you around here before. I used to live here, but it's changed so much. Yeah, it's very, um, pig-themed. Well, if you need any info, go to the small hut on top of, the, of that hill up ahead. This crazy old geezer lives up there, but he should be able to help you out before you go. Be sure to check all of the signs on the way. The local visited Biryu did not a great job of supplying helpful info for visitors. Convenient. To read the signs, press up on the directional button and then square button. Don't freak out if you just realize this is a game. We don't want the consumer to be concerned. By the way, what's with that pink? Is that really important to know, dude? <laughs> Never mind, I don't want to know. See ya! The 100 year old man. Dear God. Oh, I'll do that later. To whom it may concern? Probably not me. Please stop stealing my mail. If you continue your villainous acts, I cannot be responsible for what might happen. Best regards. Yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> Can I, like, go in it? No? Okay. Um... We have a tornado in our inventory. Makes perfect sense. Monkey. Oh yeah. I have no idea what these are. But as a kid, they were fun. <laughs> now that monkey. I believe there's a hidden thing where you... There's a hidden thing where you... Where the hell is it? There's supposed to be a branch you can grab. I know it's there somewhere. Ah, found it! Jeez, that took too long. Uh, yeah, I... Yeah. Okay. So I just hold up and then... Cool. Leave me alone! I haven't eaten all day and your pink hair is giving me a headache! Why does everyone hate the pink hair? A hungry monkey. More like hangry, really, when you think about it. Ow. Damn pigs. Yeah, fruit heals you. Ooh, froggy. Gimme. Take me home. Sure, whatever. It's on my back. Exercise routine one, branch swings. Jump and grab the tree branch with the palm of your hands while hanging from the tree branch all direction. I know that. Oh, it's a butt plant. Literally. It is a butt plant. Wake up. Wake up. I remember this. I remember this. You gotta lure him over and then... You butt plant him. Would you hurry the hell up? 
There we go. And that's what the butt plant does. I do not know why. This guy's strong. Baby pig. Peach flower get it's a butt plant. Wait a minute. Did that thing change color when I press down on it? Yeah, I think it's darker. I don't know what that's gonna do, but I might as well press them all then. I'm at full health, I might as well not go for all the fruits. Oh, you got tough guy? Boom! Uh, weapon. Oh, three. I skipped one. Hold down the circle button to swing your weapon. If you swing your weapon really fast, the attack will be more powerful. Makes perfect sense. What? Oh, hi again. Oh, heading off to the old man's hut already? Well, what else can I do? Unfortunately, the fog is so thick over here that you can't see a thing. Looks like we'll have to turn around. Do you do you dye your hair is it naturally? You know, he lives like a caveman, so it's probably just natural. Uh, never mind. Oh, come on. You're not going to stop asking until we tell you. If only I had my nature survivalist mail or... Oh. It's you that's getting all your mail stolen. Yeah, I can I feel for you, man. I'm sure there would be something I could order out of there to get rid of this fog. Oh and bye! Yeah, I don't blame him for the whole mail thing. The frog ran away. Well bummer. Now the reason why I don't blame him is hello bird. The reason I don't blame him is because, um, I got a new photo ID. I had to get it renewed, and it ended up in someone else's mail. Thankfully, they gave it to me. Wasn't stolen, just delivered to the wrong house. <laughs> I was lucky. Oh yeah, didn't we see that in the beginning of the... Cool. So, there's fog we have to deal with, a hungry monkey. I kind of don't want to get rid of those, because I just know they're going to be gone forever. Something windy. Alright, sure. We have this tornado in our pockets, let's just see if it can help. Whoa. That's kind of sweet. That should have done more damage. That, should, that tornado should have done a lot more damage. So let's see here. We got little pumpkin... Oh, no, wait. I don't think those are pumpkins. Maybe they're like palm trees with like a pig snout. Fuck plants. What? Okay, I don't remember that. Fighting plant flower? Wait a minute, that's what they were called? I always called them eggplants. For obvious reasons, of course. They look like eggs. Hello. Yeah, but I want to go in there. Now, these things like to bite you. These things? They apparently don't bite. Okay, cool. Make me look like a fool, why don't you? They're supposed to bite you. 
Yeah, they are changing color. <laughs> Hello? Lessons in learning. Lesson one, active listening. If you want to talk to somebody, press... Oh, they wouldn't be telling me that if there wasn't someone to talk to around here. How many of these chicks do I have? What the? What? You found me already? I was trying to hide from you. Well, who are you? Well, since you found me, I'll give you a little hint. To the right of me, behind this hut, there's a the little pond. If you go up the hill above here, you can meet this crazy old coot. He's supposed to be some wise hundred-year-old man, but he just seems to mumble a lot to me. That's what wise old men do, really. They're basically philosophers, but old. Who am I? Never mind that. Go see the places I just told you about, and we'll talk again later. <laughs> sure, whatever. That's a nice reward. What's this box? The AP box. What does AP stand for? I mean, P stands for points, obviously, but what does the A stand for? <laughs> Are you an ape or a human? I can't really tell. You could be both. You want to get past me? Haha! <laughs> Can you swim? You dick! That wouldn't have been okay! Even if I could swim! Ha ha ha! I thought so. Mr. Turtle saved you this time, but next time, you may not be so lucky. You can't go past the door here unless you can swim. Trust me, you're not up to it. Well, why not? Just tell me why. I actually learned to swim. Hey, you hungry? Why don't you take this with you? Perfect! See you later. Much later. Ha 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 ha. Fuck you. I don't like that guy. He's a bit of a dick. But now I have bananas. Let's give them to the monkey. Oh, now you butt. It must have been the frog. I am relearning this game pretty quickly. I have to say though, the whole thing where uh, the game's like, what is it called? Fuck's sakes! I can't get the damn Brent. I got it. All right, here's some bananas. Wow, you give me your bananas? Thanks, you're not so bad after all. I was so hungry I couldn't move. My name is Charles. Convenient. I know a name. Na I know a guy named Charlie who acts like a monkey. I know what I can do for you. I'll teach you a trick, okay? Press the square button and the direction button together to run. It's called the Animal Dash. You got it, kid? The square button. And then... The directional button. Well, gotta go. Alright, let's see. What the? We could already do that. We saw him do that when he was hunting that map. We saw him do that when he was hunting a pig. Or a boar. Ow. I don't feel good. I don't know what I'm doing with those, uh... Chicks. I didn't think of it. Yeah, but I gotta say, this was pretty cool when I was a kid. It blew my mind. I thought it was awesome. And I suppose it was for its time. 
I mean, people aren't going to be wowed by it now, but, you know, back then, I was impressed. Is this the old band house? It is! Wow, you really are old. Mmm, what shall I do? Mmm, mmm, uh, uh. Why, hello there! You're a cute little fella. Yes, I am the 100 year old wise man. Why haven't I died yet? Anyway, what can I do for you? I don't know if I want to live up to 100. Hmm, oh, I'm sorry. My mind is preoccupied with something else at the moment. Say, would you do me a favor? My wife left me for a man half my age. And I miss her so much. Could you, like, break her, her current boyfriend's legs so I can have her back? <laughs> Imagine if that's what an old man said to you. You see, there is something that is just really bothering me. You must have seen them on your way here. The red coca birds. Those were birds? I thought they were dinosaurs. Those darn birds steal eggs and try to raise them as their own. I mean, that's kinda sweet. I feel sorry for the cute little chicks inside the eggs. Those chicks, by the way, way too small for those eggs. Could you go out and collect all the chicks from the eggs? That's what you're concerned about? What about your wife? Oh, it's fine, really. I wanted a divorce anyway, and she just left and I have no alimony to pay. Plus, I get to hang out with this girl that's three, three times my age. You mean... You, you mean like a quarter, a third your age, or... Uh, the, this guy's weird. Good job! You found all the... How do you know that? Um, but where are the chick? Are you okay, dude? What the... You just... What? What? Wait, what? Wait a minute, did you eat those birds and then like... What? You kept them in your stomach? Well, I suppose he had to, his pants don't have pockets. What else do you keep in there? Actually, I want to know too now. Yeah, never mind, you don't need to show me, it's alright really. Well, I want to know. Thanks to you, I have one less thing to worry about. Now for my other 99 problems. Ah oh, yes, you wanted to see me about something, right? Hmm. Hmm. So the coma pig stole your grandpa's bracelet. Hmm. I gotta say everything that you want to tell me because you won't say it out loud. So you want to know all about the coma pigs, huh? I just want my bracelet back. Well, here's how the oh fuck old man stories. This was once a beautiful, peaceful land until seven evil pigs came. They suddenly appeared and used their powers to change this land into an ugly world. For some reason, the evil pigs seemed to be collecting gold. I bet your grandpa's bracelet that was stolen by the coma pigs was made out of gold too. The seven evil pigs are hiding somewhere in this world. If you find them, I'm sure you'll be able to find your bracelet as well. Just remember, be very careful. Are you on crack? Jeez, imagine being on crack at 100 years old. That would have to kill you. And that's all I know about the coma pigs. If you wish to retrieve your bracelet, you should make some friends. Ouch! How do you know I don't have friends already, you dick? They'll be a great help to you! Of course, if there's anything I can do for you, just come back here! Terrible animation. Mm, I seem to have lost my hundred-year-old bell. Oh, God. 
You're telling me there was a bell made exactly when you were born? I was going to give it to you if you find it. Return it to me, would you? In place of the bell, I'll give you this, an ancient key. This old key is also- oh my god. This is the only key that opened the hundred year old chest. How much shit was made when you were born, dude? Cause this ain't normal. Ah uh, yes, you also need the evil pig bags in order to find the evil pigs. Without the evil pig bags, you won't be able to find their hiding places. Go ask the dwarf elder about the evil pig bags. You'll find him past the forest above here. He should be able to tell you everything you need to know about the evil pig bags. Now run along, youngster. If you'll excuse me, I want to go- What the? Who lowered that rope? I didn't do it, he didn't do it, those chicks didn't do it, who did it? I think that guy's obsessed with his age. He's like, oh, please come into my hundred year old house. Come sit on my hundred year old table. And I'll, wait, and I'll make some hundred year old tea at my hundred year old fireplace. He gets in something like brand new, like a one day old item. He's like, oh, thanks, thanks a lot, and you're just, and behind your back, he just throws it out, and he's like, no, it's too new, it's not a hundred years old. I can't tell if you're a man or a woman, so I'm not going to give you a voice here. See, I told you so. I hope the old coot was helpful. I'm surprised to find you here specifically. Me? People call me Yan of the Hidden Village. I still can't tell what your gender is. You look more caveman than I do. I like to hide from people, usually they never find me. If you find me again, I'll give you more information. On what? Don't expect it to be easy next time. This is gonna be a lot of fun, a good old game of hide and seek. So good luck, see ya! Uh, those look painful and you just... Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, cool. Coolio. I mean, Toomba looks a bit messy too, but he's got hair like a Super Saiyan. No, not a Super Saiyan, a Hedgehog. He's got hair like a Hedgehog. I don't know if I'm gonna play a Sonic game. Maybe. Oh, you're injured! Let me take a look. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> He's like, oh dear, you have a hundred year old injury. Let me get my hundred year old medicine from my hundred year old first aid kit. Don't fall from the hundred year old rope! Oh, the hundred year old stump. That's where I first sat. Alright, joke's over. Grug, gruff, gnug, glub, grug? What? Oh, oh, what? What? Beginner's dwarf language. Okay. I repeat myself though. What the hell are you? 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 Get over here. I want dusk want where are you? Shit. Ah! I want Sorry. I, I want to I, I want no. I don't know what it is, but I want it. Oh let's look here, you little bastard. Gotcha! Leaf butterflies? Well, into my stomach you go, I guess. Grug, gruff, gnug, glub, grug. How am I acquiring the language? All I'm doing is like jumping on him. 
That doesn't make sense. You don't just jump on someone and then suddenly learn their language. I mean, if that were the case, I would have just jumped on my French teacher and learned the language that way. Man, that would have been brilliant. Saved me an entire year of nonsense. Several years, actually. Did not learn the language whatsoever. I feel bad for this guy. I'm just constantly assaulting him. What the? The Gragnob is Gongo. It is. It really is. Oh. Some horror girl I was agree to agree. That is the question. Can Grack? I don't see why not. Hey, can Gnug Glup? Greg? Yeah, sure it can. I mean, why not? The Gree is Grub. Thanks for the advice, man. I had no idea. We Glub, but Glup. I mean, that kind of cancels it out, so that's fine. Yeah, you say the same thing. What do you say? Wow, you learned some of our language. And I still can't quite understand everything you're saying. I don't say anything. I think if you jump on a dwarf and bite one more time, you'll have mastered the language. Cool, you're... I'm biting them. Okay, so I have to bite my French teacher. Some girl... I was Albrega to Gni. Hrug? Hrug? Yeah, rugs are fine. What are you doing? You kind of like jump in the air. My, what a cute knee! Leave my knees out of this, lady. I like my knees. Are you the poor guy I've been biting? I'm Rigory Wongnug Albrach, my friends. Cool! We club a club, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, funk. Okay, that's um. That's weird. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you ever want to learn a language, just bite someone. Apparently, that's how the world works. 